Well, hey guys, and I do hope you're well. Well, that's just kind of getting back a little bit into uh, Monday prayers again, you guys, you know. And um, as you'll maybe see from the previous, you know, we've had a few gaps in between. But that's been okay because this has been a real building season. And we've really been trying to learn. But of course, you know, over this uh, sort of period, I've been on surgery recovery. And it's been, it's, it's always been on the up. And I always thank you guys on our personal social media, you know, for your your support and everything, you know, but it has been sort of the dominating factor this year. And, you know, things have went up and down, and up and down, and up and down, but, you know, generally more ups than downs, you know, so I, I can't really complain. But basically, you guys, this Monday prayer will be a regular feature um, when things begin to move forward. And um, I always find that it's just so important. Prayers just spoken about so much in the Word as being vital. And you think, well, how can you translate that over from you know the local church or your, your you know your local house or whatever you do church you guys um to an online and that's that's a wee bit more difficult you know so the decision i sort of took um what we certainly took myself and sharon was that we'll do a monday prayer each monday um and this is just so important you guys you know it won't always be like this with a little bit of teaching involved or whatever but you know we just we just go with it but guys, prayer is just so important. And I just hope that, especially if you're a new Christian, that this will really help. You know, that you can pray along and, you know, just, just see how we pray and how we speak to God, you know. So I just hope you'll really enjoy it. So the teaching that we've been rolling on with through this, uh, you know, this particular thread has been the love of God. You know, and of course, God describes himself as love itself, you know. And all too often we've got a pretty, you know, it's not quite the right view of love anyway which means we don't have quite the right view of God. And of course, God explains in the, the book of Corinthians all those different component parts of love. And this makes up who he is so that we can identify him. And of course, when um, you know God says he has these things, then he has to live up to that. You know, he has to endure all things with us. He's got to, you know, he's got to do all the things that he'd love us to do towards others, you know. And uh, these traits, guys, it's something you can learn with experience. It takes time, especially if you're a new Christian. It takes a lot of time, you know, because love is very different, you guys. Very, very different. But for the purposes of these videos, I'm just going to keep it really simple. We're just going to relate this as much as we can to God and maybe a little bit to ourselves. So this next component part of the, the nature of God we're going to put it that way, is that love bears all things. And in this sense, the, the love bears all things is like a foundation to a house, you know, and a roof. But it bears up that house, you know. It's the strength of that house, you know. And also, it's the roof that covers that house as well. And when we look at it in perspective with God, you know, he is that person in our lives, the, probably the only one that bears with us through everything who upholds us through absolutely everything, you know, because he can. It's very difficult, even for people or friends or family, the best intentions towards you, and absolutely. You know, like I keep saying, I'm just so grateful for our friends and our family and our personal social media, you guys know who you are, that's, that have supported us over this past two years. You've been bearing us up, you know. And, um, you know, sometimes you're the person who needs to bear, and other times you're, you're the ones to to bear others, you know. But this is what God does, and he is the only one that can do this 100%, absolutely flawlessly. He's the only one that can really do that. You know, again, our friends and family, for all best of intentions, they've got a life to lead too. They get tired, they've got to work, and, you know, you could be going through the stuff that, you know, they might only be partially helping with. But God really wants to be that one to, to bear you up. And it's a tremendous little component, you know, and you put them all together, and that's your idea of God. But bear all things also comes into the category of um, concealing other people's weaknesses. Now, I don't mean concealing other people's sins or anything like that. I'm talking about their weaknesses. You know, we wouldn't, as Christians, we shouldn't really be gossiping behind each other's backs. God's love wouldn't do that. You know, God's love doesn't gossip. It doesn't, like, like I said, doesn't speak behind our backs. But we can. You know, we can sort of fall into that. Whereas when it comes to God's love, we actually try to conceal other people's weaknesses. And it's almost like if they say something silly or you can tell they're making a little bit of a fool out of themselves, you tend to gravitate towards that. And, you know, you say, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. That you, you want to conceal, you want to help them and bear them up. 
and whatever they're going through. And uh, guys, this is a really special part of being a Christian, you know. And, you know, guys, come on. I mean, every everybody gossips from time to time, you know. But generally, guys, gossiping is not a very healthy trait to, to be living in, you know. And, um, you know, we certainly don't like people gossiping about us. So why would we do it, you know, with other people? But in the case of God, when he's talking about this, he's talking about the fact that he would conceal you. You know, he would stick up for you. He would bear everything for you. But the key always comes back in God's love for you guys. That yes, our friends, for, you know, for however well intentioned they may be, they cannot bear us up like God can. And this is a huge part of God's personality that we need to really remember, and keep in the forefront of our minds from time to time. So guys, let's us move on and head into a time of prayer. Eh? And again, we, we share this on a Monday. You know, it's good to have this for the, the sort of beginning of the week sort of thing, you know, and uh, I just hope you really enjoy. But for those of you that might not have prayed before, you know, you don't have to get yourself all hyped up in a little room and, uh, you know, for God to speak to your heart or for you to experience his presence. It's just nonsense. You can just close your eyes and just open your heart to God and he'll, he'll fall upon you, you know. And when it comes to these videos, they'll do the same thing, whether this is in six months' time or 12 months' time that you see this particular video. You know, God knows no bounds when it comes to time, you know. So let's pray. Oh, Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I just give you thanks for who you are, Lord, that any one of us can come before you, Lord God, and, and in good times and in bad, and say, uh, hear from you Lord and experience you and I can just only but thank you for the kind of support like I said earlier Lord about and um, the people that have supported us the friendship and the fellowship that we've had Lord I just bless you and yes Lord I we do see that Lord that is you and I just thank you for it bless you Lord Help me, help everyone listening, Lord God, to just be ourselves before you. Not popping fancy words or, oh, Lord, let us just be so genuine and so open, Lord. Help us be that, Lord. Right now, Father, I just pray for, um, especially ones that are connected to our ministry at this particular point in time, those rural ministries from around the world in Pakistan and India and Africa and our playlist artists, Lord, it's just been really awesome to build these friendships and these connections. And it's something I give you thanks for today. I just pray that those watching, Lord, will just feel a blessing from you, will experience a blessing from you. Because sometimes, Lord, we, all we need is just a touch from you. Let every Christian know, Father, that's within the sound of this prayer, Lord, that you love them so much, that you accept them for who they are and where they're at. That whether they're going through some times of great fortune, Lord, or times of trial and tribulation I just pray that both would know that you're with them Lord that you're actively wanting to be a part of that the life that situation Be with them, Lord. Be with my brothers and sisters, Lord. Be with me. Be with us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you bear all things with us. You'll always be that foundation, Lord. You'll always be there to, to prop us up. 
when others faint from tiredness or you know with their own things to do but Lord that you just be that 100% all the time whether we're awake or asleep bearing us up Lord God that Lord you never gossip and speak behind our backs or conceal things for the wrong reasons and there's so many times Lord that you cover our weaknesses Lord you cover the mistakes we made and it's just so awesome to be reminded of that today that all these traits in Corinthians Lord are you it's who you are I just pray if there's any listening just now that misunderstand who you are Lord that you'd show them that you're not this finger wagging tatting God in heaven looking down in disgust at us that's just absolute nonsense that you care and you understand why we do the things that we do and that Lord you'll deliver us from these things in your way and in your time and in that Lord we just rest in your grace your divine unmerited favour just by our faith in the cross and Lord Jesus we thank you and bless you today Don't allow any to become overwhelmed with the forces of darkness, Lord God. Being told they're stupid or being told they're useless. That they'll never make it. That you'll never accept them. Oh Lord, go in and go in like a special forces team, Lord God, and just blow that apart, I pray. We recognise our need for you, Lord. And we recognise, Lord God, that we can come to you with anything, at any time, Lord. That you'll always listen. Sometimes we might not like the answer, but you're always there, Lord. And you've always got that answer. So, Lord God, I just pray and ask, Lord God, for your presence among your people this week, Lord God. Pray that you go with them, Lord, that you make it very apparent that you're with them. In your great name, thank you so much for everything, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. So just a short prayer today, you guys, you know, and I um, just thank you so much for watching. And I just pray that, you know, whenever you get to listen to this, that you know, just, you'll just really feel blessed just being in that fellowship as we just look to God you know it's all about him and you know as I'm always so aware I've got nothing to offer you guys you know obviously nothing but he's got it all to offer you know and uh, you know if you've never really experienced God in prayer before sit down in your room close the door you know and look to him and he, and he will answer you guys so for now you guys God bless you and thank you so much for watching